Hi, Dobby here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the air filter in a 2011 C4 Grand Picasso with a 1.6 diesel engine. First step is to remove the soundproofing cover. This is done by pulling the two rubber tabs up. Sometimes they come with the cover, other times they stay attached to the fastener underneath. Now it's time to remove the two air pipes attached to the air box. The first one twists off quite easily as you can see in the video. The bottom one has two tabs that you need to push in and pull out. There are two 13mm fasteners that you need to remove. You can do this with a 30mm spanner or a deep socket would be easier. Removing these gives you more movement of the air box. Next up is removing the three screws at the front of the air box. I'm using an offset bit drive for this to save taking the air box out of the engine bay. I will be making a what's in my toolbox on this bit driver soon. There are three T20 screws to remove and one clip on the side of the air box. Once the clip is undone, you can remove the old air filter. As you can see, the one in this car is really dirty and is well in need of being changed. It's best to clean up the air box after you've removed the old air filter. I did this off camera to save the noise of the hoover. Here is the new air filter. As you can see, it's nice and clean. I tried to cheat at the start of this clip by not removing the top of the air box. It's easier to do this. Once you have the air filter in place, make sure that it's sealed all the way around the edge of the air box. Here I am removing the top of the air box so that I can make sure the air filter is properly seated and in place. Now it's time to reassemble. Start by putting the top of the airbox back in, the three screws and the clip. It's easier to put the clip on last. I was having a bit of a moment here.
Off camera, I removed some soundproofing that sits between the engine and the bottom of the airbox. Make sure to put this back in place. Once this is back in place, it's time to put the two 13mm fasteners back in. Be careful when putting these back in, as it can be very easy to strip them out. Now it's time to reinstall the air pipes. The top one just twists back into place and the bottom one just pushes in in the opposite way to the way it came out. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to put these back in. The last thing to do is reinstall the top soundproofing cover. This is done by popping the rubber tabs back onto the top of the 13mm fasteners and then popping the cover down. And that's quite a simple job finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop me a like and a sub if you're new. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you. Once again, thank you for watching Dobby's Repairs.